Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your iDevice from 4.2.1 to 4.1. Now this method works for any firmware, so if you're on 4.1 and you want to go to 4.0, it would work for that as well. However, you're going to have to have your SHSH files backed up on that firmware. So uh, when you guys very first open up Cydia for the first time on your iDevice, you will get something like this. Now, it'll be different depending on what firmware you're on, but it should say something like this. It should just talk about jailbreaking and what firmware you're on, and uh, it should mention downgrading and stuff like that. And then you'll get one of two options. You'll get either make my life easier, thanks, or you'll get this, I hate jailbreaking, go away. If you click make my life easier, thanks, it'll say it's pending a request at the top of Cydia around here. And you guys will get this right here, as you can see on my iPhone. It says SHSH 4.1. Uh, now it says that right there up above Welcome to Cydia. And you guys should have that if you did it and it worked properly. So there are other methods to back up your SHSH files as long as Apple is still signing that firmware. So uh, right now Apple is signing 4.2.1, so you can grab it using Tiny Umbrella. However, I'm going to show you guys how to use it uh, via Saric server. So uh, once you have that, and once you know your SHSH files are backed up, and you can tell, like I said, if you just go and you look on top of Cydia, it should say it there. Once you have that, you're going to come to this website. I will have it in the more info. And you are going to scroll down all the way until it says bypassing the overlord right here. And you're going to see where it says, so open the file, see Windows System 32 drivers ETC host, and then it says Windows, or it gives you the alternate one for Mac. You're going to have to search for that. So in order to do this part, what you're going to do on Windows is you are just going to go to your start menu and you're going to search for run or you can just find run. Run is just a very common thing and most of you should know exactly what I'm talking about when I say run. And you're going to get rid of the host part because that's the file and it's going to open it up. And if you're like me, it associates that type of file with a program that I don't want it to open with. So I'm just going to open that folder. So now uh, once you've located this file, you're just going to right click on it and you're going to go open with and you're going to use uh, a notepad or Microsoft Word or something like that, basically just an editor. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come back to that website, and you're just going to copy this line right here that starts with 74.28, and it ends in gs.apple.com. You're going to take that, and you're just going to place it at the bottom right there. Uh, and that's all you have to do and then you just click file and you click save and that's it basically what that's telling it to do is grab it from Saric server instead of Apple server so once you have that done once you have it saved like I do already you're good to go now I'm gonna show you guys that I am on 4.1 here really quick by going to settings and then I'm gonna go to general about and I am on 4.2.1 right there. I'll zoom in for you guys. Version 4.2.1. So uh, now that you have that all squared away, you're just going to go back to your computer and you're going to open up iTunes. And once iTunes is open, you are going to hold down Shift and click Restore. Now you're going to have to have your firmware downloaded and you're going to have to know exactly where it is. If you don't have your firmware downloaded, you're going to come to this website and you're just going to pick your device and the firmware you want from the drop down menu. Now again, the firmware has to be one that you have your SHSH files backed up for on Saric server. You're going to come back to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad here and you're going to set it into DFU mode. Now the way you do this, I'm going to demonstrate, you hold down the home and power button together and uh, you will see the slide to power off and you're going to continue holding and you're going to hold three seconds after it powers off then you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button so by this time you will have held the home and power button together for 10 seconds then you let go of the power button and continue holding the home button and uh, now you're going to have to go shift and click restore or alt and click restore and then browse for your firmware here so mine is right there and then uh, it says 
iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.1 and will verify that uh, restore with Apple. So you just click restore and you let it go through its thing. So now it's verifying iPhone restore with Apple, as you can see up there. And it's actually going to Saric server to get the SHSH blobs that I backed up previously. And basically from here on out, I'll just be checking in with you guys every once in a while, just cutting the video out and coming back and updating you on the progress. So it's waiting for the iPhone now, and we have that bar right there indicating the progress. Right now we don't have any progress, but I'll be back when we've made some progress. So it just finished saying preparing your iPhone for restore, and now it's saying restoring iPhone software and iTunes, and the progress bar is going along nicely right there. So I'll be back uh, when something else has happened. So now it's just basically making progress, and it is about, I don't know, 75% of the way done. And here we are getting a 1004 error, so I'm going to show you guys how to fix this too. Now this is a really common error, and it comes close to the end at your iPhone restore. It showed about 75% of the way done, but it's pretty much done. So we're just going to have to kick it out of recovery mode. This is just Apple's way of trying to combat people from downgrading. So you're going to have to have this program called Recboot. I will have it in the more info for both Windows and Mac users. And then once you open it up, uh, you just have to click on the Recboot folder. And then you're just going to have to click on the Recboot executable. And for the Mac, you just click on Recboot. And you should be greeted with this screen where it just says Rec Boot, then it says Welcome to Rec Boot version 1.1, and it just says in this application you are able to send your connected eye devices into or out of recovery mode. So we are going to exit recovery mode, and as you can see there, the recovery mode thing went away, and we have an Apple logo, so that's good news, guys. And then from here on out, it's just going to boot up. So I'll just keep the camera rolling to let you guys know that there's no fancy work here. I'm not editing anything out. It is just actually booting up. I'm not trying to trick you guys. This is actually working. And there we go. We get this little symbol thing after every restore where it does the loading thing. And it's just going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to continue talking to basically show you guys that, like I said before, I'm not editing anything out. I am actually doing this real time live and now we are activating my iPhone. So it's waiting for iPhone activation there and there we go. It is done and uh, it's asking me to restore my iPhone but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to slide to unlock quickly and I'm going to go into settings and general to show you guys that this is legit and it did indeed work. So settings general about and right there, I am on 4.1. I will zoom in for you guys. So as you can see there, 4.1. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, this is really common, and you can use this method for any device on any firmware, downgrading to any firmware that you have your SHSH blobs backed up for. So like I said, please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is ICU signing out.